Okay, so starting with another costume today. So the first piece I've got is kind of just like a baby doll dress. Um, nothing much to it. So it's a bit larger size, which means that we have a bit of a, a loose fit. But that's okay because there's still more to come. So the next piece I'm using is also a slip-on one. Um, this is a, a see-through dress, same sort of size as the baby doll one. And um, came with a bit of a slip, but I'm not going to worry about using the slip. So all I've done is put that straight on top. And again, we can see it's quite a loose baggy fit. Um, and now we're going to start with a couple of adjustments. So taking a safety pin, I'm just going to take some of the... Um, underside of this skirt here and just going to bring it up to here I think I like the lace at the front like that and I'm just going to put it to the side there and just put that through there like that get another safety pin I'm doing exactly the same thing on the other side and just pinning that bit to the side there. And just shifting that a little bit like that. So you can see now we get a bit more of um, that scallop apron effect happening on the front of the skirt. Um, so now we need to do something with the top part and just sort of pull in the waist a bit. So here I have a velvet jacket. Um, it's got a little bit of a puff happening in the sleeve, but there's nothing really that exciting to it. A little bit of trim and we're going to just put that on top. So you can see also with the jacket that it's a little bit of a loose fit and having the um, bottom just come down like that um, again doesn't really give much character to it so I'm just going to tuck these sides in like that so just giving a little bit of shape to them like that and that just allows us to see a little bit more of the scallop in the skirt now this is the back of the jacket so I'm going to get a safety pin and what I'm going to do is just cinch in this back, pulling it together so that um, it gives it a, a more tight waist appearance and also just a little bit of puff at the back. Trying to get my hands in behind, but also a little bit scared that I'm going to stab my thumb. <laughs> so, there we go. Whoops. Right. I want to pull it as tight as I can, but I'm also not really wanting the safety pin to be showing. So, bring it down like that. There we go. Watch my finger again. No. Nope. So a lot easier ways to do this, you know, like you could take the jacket off the dummy. Um, but me, I'm stubborn and I keep going for things. Including bending the hell out of this cheap pin. There we go, all done. And got it in together like that. And we got a little bit of a puff happening at the back there. So you can see that happening there. As often is the case with a costume, it's the accessories that make it. So I'm going to add this belt. So it's just a standard belt, but it's got a double, double thing. So the next couple of pieces I'm going to use is just this um, small fake leather brown handbag and um, this other belt. Now what I'm going to do to start with is just unclip one of these and then I'm actually going to clip it on to the other hook here and then I'm going to 
thread it through the bag like that pull them out so we've got a little bit of a pouch appearance happening and then I'm going to um, thread this belt um, let's see so I want it sort of coming over the back there so potentially having this through here and around let's see what we can make happen so I thought I'd show you a bit better how I put this together um, so the first thing that I did was undo that side and then bring them both through under like that and then also clip this side on here as well there we go so now I end up with the bag like that then I thread this other belt through there and that came across the shoulder like that and then through this part here and I did the belt up just on the last one going over the shoulder and then just to add a little bit more effect to it I got this other bag here which I've simply just tucked in the strap for that one and I clipped that one over that one like that so that I ended up with this across the shoulders and this running across the front so all I've ended up doing is just um, threading that belt through and over the shoulders and that's this piece all finished obviously you can add jewelry whatever you want to it